primitive people learned about the things around them by looking, by touching, and by listening. They would tap an object to hear its voice. By carefully striking rocks, shells, and wood, they discovered that these things could not only speak, but that sometimes they could be made to sing. Guess who? Oh, Robert, I know it's you. How could you tell? Well, I could tell by the sound of your voice. Now you cover your eyes. Let's see if you can tell whose voice this is. Oh, come on. That's not a voice. Sounds like glass to me. That's the voice of glass. Now, how about this? I suppose that's wood talking to me. I get it. Let's hear some spoons talk. Some materials, such as glass, have different voices when they're formed into different shapes. The larger glass objects have a deeper voice because they vibrate more slowly when hit. But they still sound like glass. Oops, <laughs> we don't want to hit glass too hard, do we? Metal can be worked into many different shapes and forms. When struck, each metal shape sings with its own voice. When wood is growing, its voice sounds dull and muffled. But if we dry the wood and shape it, we'll be able to hear its voice more clearly. The smaller the bar, the faster it vibrates, and the higher the pitch. By trimming each wooden bar to just the right size, we can play a musical scale. We've made a xylophone. Xylophone means wood voice in the Greek language. Now let's try a bar made of metal. The heavy steel bar vibrates much faster than wood, so its voice has a much higher pitch. They sound like bells, don't they? Now we've made a glockenspiel. Glockenspiel means bell toy in German. The word percussion means to strike or hit. Many percussion instruments are played using special sticks called mallets. Hard or soft mallets will cause hard or soft sounds. Plates formed from metal are sometimes played with mallets, or they may be struck together. They are called cymbals, and they have a voice all their own. Ah, yes, drums, a most important percussion instrument. Drums come in all sizes, shapes, and kinds. They can have very strong voices. Uh, let's see how they work.
When a sheet of thin material, such as an animal skin, is placed over an empty container and stretched tight, it will vibrate when struck. The air inside echoes or resonates the sound. If the skin is stretched more tightly, the skin will vibrate faster, which raises the pitch. The size of the drum also affects the pitch. All right, let's hear it. Oh, boy. The modern kettle drum, or timpani, is one of the few drums on which the pitch can be changed higher or lower very quickly. The skin is tightened or loosened rapidly by using a foot pedal. Sounds made by striking, percussion sounds, are the voices of the materials around us. Voices that are sometimes coarse, but which can be delicate and musical too. Voices that speak and sing to us. Let's listen. Thank <laughs> you. 